Charges have been laid in relation to this event, race 11 at Nelson on June the 8th, which was won by Storm Prince, driven by champion driver Blair Orange. Another driver in the event has also been charged with manipulating the result of the race and causing losses to the betting public and other race participants. Detective Superintendent Tim Anderson says the police investigation has been widespread. As you would have seen from our statement earlier today, police conducted a number of search warrants at eight properties in Christchurch and one each in Invercargill and Manawatu. These warrants were a result of a long-running investigation by the Police National Organised Crime Group. It's understood three more harness racing properties in Canterbury have been raided as part of Operation Inca, on top of searches across the country. The charge of race fixing is laid under the Crimes Act and carries a maximum penalty of up to seven years in prison. Anderson says their investigation has been lengthy. These warrants were the result of a long-running investigation by the Police National Organised Crime Group and uh, we are currently speaking to a number of people. In race 11 on June the 8th, Storm Prince was considered one of the pre-race favourites and driver Blair Orange has been accused by police of not attempting to win. There were 11 horses in the race, part of a two-day Nelson Racing Carnival. Police have confirmed seven people have been charged in relation to an investigation into alleged race fixing in the harness racing industry. In Dunedin, the South today.